Alzheimer's has touched Ivy Sigel's life in many ways. Her father died from the disease. He passed away from Alzheimer's disease in 2011, so it's close and dear to my heart. Now her daughter, a researcher, is helping to lead two big studies that are trying to prevent the disease, which affects almost six million Americans. We're enrolling people who are healthy, who do not yet have memory and thinking problems associated with Alzheimer's disease. So far, science has failed to alter the progression of the most common form of dementia once it's caused some mental decline. As time goes by. Researchers are now trying to target the disease at its earliest stages to prevent the formation of amyloid, a protein that clogs the brains of people with Alzheimer's. The earlier we intervene and we prevent the buildup of that amyloid around the brain connections, the more likely is that we will have a successful results. Clinics across the country are working with the Banner Alzheimer's Institute in Phoenix to enroll healthy older people between the ages of 60 and 75. To participate in the prevention studies, volunteers have to join GeneMatch, a confidential registry, and be checked for a gene called APOE4. Having the gene doesn't mean a person will develop Alzheimer's, but it raises the risk. Age is the greatest risk factor, the biggest risk factor for developing Alzheimer's disease. APOE is the second. If chosen for the prevention studies, participants will have periodic brain scans and memory and thinking tests for several years. They'll also be treated with experimental drugs or placebos. Once 10 minutes comes around, I'll cap it. We're going to be sending them Ivy Sigel didn't Thursday hesitate to sign up with GeneMatch. I want to do whatever I can to help the cause. So far, over 70,000 people have joined the registry, but researchers still need hundreds of thousands of volunteers like her. Malcolm Ritter, Associated Press.